Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my Ipsy unbagging and review. So before we get started, I quickly want to talk about what I'm wearing on my nails. I am wearing one of the new 90 Lacquer nail polishes. This was in the color Blueberry Acai. And then on my lips, I am wearing a lipstick from Milani in the color 52 Coral Addict. So for those of you who don't know, Ipsy is a $10 a month beauty subscription service. If you haven't already watched my Ipsy videos, what I like to do is I like to give myself a whole month to review the previous month's items. That way I really have enough time to test out the items for you guys. Then I like to unbag the current month's bag for you guys here on camera. And then at the end of the video, I would like to do a little giveaway for you guys. So if you guys are interested to see how last month's items worked out, then keep on watching. So let's go ahead and jump right in. This was last month's bag. I really liked the bag. I thought the uh, bag was really cute. It had this cute little pair of lips on it. I'm definitely going to put this into rotation. I just really like that Ipsy gives us a brand new makeup bag that we can use out. One of the items that came in the bag was this Privi. Privi, I believe that's how you pronounce it. This is the matte moisturizer. I actually received this received this in another um, subscription bag and I've actually been using this so I already have a sample of this and I do not like this. I don't really get the whole matte moisturizer thing. It doesn't really do anything for my skin. So as far as a moisturizer, it doesn't really leave my skin feeling moisturized at all. And as far as mattifying, it doesn't really mattify my skin. So it doesn't really do either thing that it claims to do so so I'm just gonna pass this tube this one is unopened to somebody else because I did use up the other one to see if somebody else wants to give it this a go I just don't feel like wasting the product maybe it could work on somebody else's skin my skin is very very oily so it may not have worked on my skin type but it didn't work on me and I just don't feel like wasting this sample if it could work on somebody else but for me it didn't work there was a mascara in last month's bag that is in my current rotation I just haven't gotten around to using it it is next in line I, sh I should I do have another month left on the current mascara that I'm using but I will get around to using that one so unfortunately I don't have a review on the mascara that I got in the ipsy bag but I will have a review for you guys and I will let you know in one of the future Ipsy reviews, but I will let you guys know how that mascara turns out. Sorry, I don't have a review for you guys on that one. I did get a chance to use the Trust Fund Beauty nail polish in What's a Budget. I have gotten several of these Trust Fund Beauty nail polishes already. This one was a really nice mint green with a nice silver shimmer in it. I do like the Trust Fund Beauty formula. I just didn't care for the color that much. I didn't think it was that unique of a color in my opinion, but overall I liked it. I do think Trust Fund Beauty is a kind of expensive brand, so I wouldn't recommend this particular color, but there are other colors in the Trust Fund Beauty line that I would recommend, but I just didn't care for this particular color. The next product though, this is from City Color. This is the Shimmer Shadow in the color Cheers to Life. It is crazy how much pigmentation this freaking, that's like six or seven different finger swatches that I got out of it. It is crazy intense pigmented. I really like this city color eyeshadow and I think I'm definitely going to invest in a lot more of these. I wore this maybe once or twice but quite honestly I forgot about it because I don't typically gravitate towards single shadows but I think I'm going to try and somehow depot this maybe. I don't know. I may try and find a way to make this a little bit more visible in my collection, but I really like these shimmer shadows. I'm, I really did enjoy wearing this all over the lid. I didn't have to put a white base down or anything to make this color pop. It was really nice and really easy to work with. I, and City Color is a really inexpensive drugstore brand, so I'm definitely going to look into this pick up a couple more colors. I, I'm really glad that this was in my Ipsy bag. 
And then the last thing that I got in last month's bag, I'm actually wearing this in my crease and then I'm wearing this as my blush color. So I'm wearing this all over my cheeks today. And this is from The Bomb. This is The Bomb Springs a Long Wearing Blush, but you can wear this as an eyeshadow as well. This is one of their newer blushes. And I decided to wear this as again my eyeshadow and this is a super easy look so I'm just wearing this in the crease and then I popped a ColourPop eyeshadow all over the lid I love this color it's a really pretty peachy pinky color really easy to wear all over the lid you can wear this out all over the lid you can wear this in the crease really nice to wear all over the cheeks it's the perfect color to wear in the springtime but that's it that was my entire this was my June bag so it's kind of hard to keep track of the month the months you guys so if you're interested to see what I got in my July bag then just keep on watching Alrighty, now that I've gotten myself all cleaned up, let's go ahead and check out what I got in my July bag. I don't think I redeemed um, any points in my July bag. Let's see if there's a card in here or anything. So I don't, I don't see a card. There's normally a card in here, but let's just go ahead and look at the bag. So this is this month's bag. It looks like a fried <laughs> egg or something um the back has like <laughs> the back has a little butt on it and <laughs> this is kind of cute this is kind of cute um <laughs> oh lord uh let's <laughs> let's go ahead and uh look okay so here's the card the card is um who's this funny little guy uh find out on ipsy.com the theme is like over easy I don't know. I have no idea what the theme of the bag is. So normally um, Ipsy does have some type of theme, but let's go ahead and look. The first item in the bag is from Ico. This is their skinny liquid liner. I've gotten this liner before in my Ipsy bag, but I love getting liquid eyeliners. I use liquid eyeliners or gel eyeliners all the time, so I'm glad that I got an eyeliner. The next thing in here is from O oh, Thermal. This is a, a mattifying toner. I'm glad I got this because I've actually tried a toner for the first time. I didn't like it, but I did try a toner for the first time. Um, this is what it looks like. So I'm glad I get to try another toner because I do want to start including a toner in my skincare routine. This is from Hanalei. This is a lip treatment in rose i love lip treatments i actually do use a daily a night or lip treatment so i'm glad i'm gonna give that a try this is from nomad this is an illuminated highlighting powder powder not super intense but it is really pretty i could use that as either a highlighter or as an eyeshadow so that's interesting i'm glad i got that and then I got a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So I'm glad I got another one of these because this is one of my favorite mascaras, but I have already tried this. So I may actually put this in a giveaway. I may actually put this in a, in a giveaway because I have already tried that. So I got a mascara in a deluxe size eyeliner, a highlighter or an eyeshadow, a lip treatment, and a toner. Overall, it's a nice bag. I've gotten better bags, but but I do like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. That is a really nice mascara to get. I do like getting Deluxe Size Eyeliner. I do like the Ico Eyeliner. I have tried that before. This highlighter is really nice. I am excited. I really am excited to try the toners because like I said, I do want to try incorporating a toner into my skincare routine. And I always like trying lip treatments. Lip, treat lip treatments and lip balms is something I really do use every single day day and every single night so this might be one of my new favorite lip treatments or lip balms you never know <laughs> I'm not too sure about the bag it's a cute bag so that's it that's everything that I got in uh, this month's bag I'm excited to give all of these items a go if you're interested to see what I'm going to be giving away in uh, this month's giveaway then just keep on watching 
Alrighty, so this is the bag that I am going to be giving away this month. I am going to be jam packing this bag with a whole bunch of deluxe size samples and foil packets and pretty much I may include some full size samples in here. I'm going to insert a picture of all of these samples and all of the products that I'm going to be giving away. So the rules of the giveaway are you must be 18 years old to enter this giveaway or have parental permission. You must be a subscriber to this channel and you must be a US resident. So this is not open internationally. This is only open to US residents and the giveaway will be conducted via Gleam. So there is going to be a link in my description box. You simply click on the link and follow the instructions. You will get one entry for being a subscriber to my channel and then you will get additional entries if you follow me on Instagram or if you follow me on Twitter. The giveaway is going to run for approximately two weeks. I am going to contact you via the email address that you provide via the Gleam app. So please make sure you provide a valid email address. That is how I am going to contact you. Good luck to everybody. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I do currently upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.